All right, hey, collective, your girl is back. Now, I'm doing these things back to back using these same cards because they've been speaking to me, y'all. And I think that spirit really got something to say. And I don't know if I got it all out. I don't think I did, y'all. Now, I did get up today with the intention. I said, spirit, really give it to me. And um, she really giving it to me, y'all. Now, through this process, even though these messages are for you, they for me too. And this has a lot to do with shadow work behavior and letting go and detaching I really feel that alright guys so bear with your girl now I do think I'm back to my normal self <laughs> cause that little fire in me does burn a little high sometimes alright alright we're human listen we all fall short but it's those times we need to learn from. And that's what your girl is doing here, right? That's what we're doing here, right? Nobody's perfect. Got to have that little patience with ourselves. And just learn from these experiences, right? So we're going to use the same cards. Let's start out with these. I guess it really doesn't matter, right? Now, I know my style of reading. I don't know. I be trying to do different styles of reading and things of that nature. I don't know. There's something about this that just really works for me. I think a lot of people can relate. I hope so anyway. Okay. All right. <laughs> so let's see. All right, spirit. Start us out with this. So you got shine coming out here, the first card. Now, even though these cards is a little neutral in color, a little dark, this is representative of the sunflower, Leo, the lion, which is yellow. And it has shine here. Now, this is just giving me abundance, you know? As we were talking about that shadow side, harnessing the courage to work through any fears, boo. <laughs> Spirit is funny. Maybe look at the bottom of the car. And it says, work through your fears and your feelings. Insecurities, all they good cats. You know, those little things that provoke you. Now this one to jump out. And it is the Leo, the lion, telling you to go wild. Now I had this card that come up came up in my reading before. Now when this card tells you to go wild, I think it's telling you to tap into your natural state of being. That inner child. That creativity. You know? Everything that I was telling you. And we go out to the first card. Shine. It's your natural instincts. Somebody went crazy and thought I was talking about alcohols and drugs and going out there and partying. Sometimes, you know, I might not elaborate enough on the card. But sometimes you just got to see what it is that spirit is trying to tell you. Use your own discernment, cognitive dissonance. 
You know? <laughs> now we got the line showing up here strong, y'all. That fire, y'all. That's that fire. Man, that's two cards. Uh, no, that's three cards. Now, something is saying, see the bigger picture, attune to the divine, and go for it. Now, when I see the sun card, it does give me abundance, your creativity. And it's something that maybe some of you guys are not seeing. Now I'm saying go for it. Now this is Aries. Now that is giving me emperor, that entrepreneur. Your creativity, being that boss, using your logic, using your fire. Maybe putting that into some creativity. Now... I do have Pisces in my um, chart. Even if you look at the verdict calendar, I, I am a Pisces. Okay. Very empathic, emotional, <laughs> feelings. Listen. You might have to use some of that water to calm some of that fire. Okay. And we got Sagittarius down here. Now we got all these fire signs down here. You could definitely be a fire sign. Could be a Pisces and path. Listen, we just need one call. And you got fine balance. Whew. Fine balance with Libra. That was what I was talking about with that um, Pisces. Tapping into your emotions. Calming that fire. You know? But let's get to the rest of the cards before I elaborate anymore. Now I think I'm aligned. Because I put the other ones the other way the last time. Let me put these two together this time. You know, sometimes when I do this, this really does calm me down. It helps me to tap in to self. Now you got the cosmic heart coming out here. Devotion, potency, making your life a moving prayer. It's just it's giving me stay connected. Look at the bigger picture. I don't know. Maybe see it at all. See it, everything as a test. I don't know. <laughs> Is this a test? You know, like, am I being pumped? <laughs> try it out. I'll tell you how I work. <laughs> Every time I get one of those little uh, <laughs> situations that would uh, spark that little fire in me, I'm going to say I'm being tested. <laughs> it's a test.
Well, yeah. Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> now you got breath, breath of the cosmos. And it says, My will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Now, did that line up like that or what? Devotion. Make your life a moving prayer and breath of the cosmos. My will to thy will. Micromanaging the universe. And at the bottom of the deck is a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding your vision. It's all a test. <laughs> it's all a test, y'all. And earth pulsing. It said the pulse of the mother. Slow down. The time and nature. Mm. And I'm just looking at how this. Is this. Just see yourself. As the earth split open. And that flow. Calming that fire. Now, I don't care what sign he is. You know, we all have that passion. Just stay connected to Mother Earth. Rest easy. And slow down. Slow down. Take them breaths. You know, I know it's not always easy in the heat of the moment I'm thinking with practice it gets better but first you have to pay attention to it understand it see it when it's happening you know what I'm saying Maybe it could be a daily ritual when you get up. I will pay attention to my daily test today. <laughs> a little self reminder. Note to self. <laughs> well, did I say these are these? Yeah. And you know, when I speak these things into existence, it's like a little ritual. Words are spells. Now you have retribution here. With devotion, cosmic heart. Now you know, retribution is like rewards. Even righted wrongs. number eight. I'm liking that because that is all about this year. Now I do hope I'm speaking loud. I don't know. For some reason I feel a little bit serene. I think it was that last reading I did. And it says the best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Revenge often ends up as a tragedy for both parties. Focus on your own success. Justice may be your best course. 
sometimes someone not sometimes but someone may be jealous of you be aware of your values and how these can assist you to discern what is important to you and build a positive ethical foundation Nemanus Neman okay Jealous energy is normal. We will always have an opposite or someone who challenges our values or who we are, characteristics, whatever that may be. I think this is very positive here. Now this is Scorpius, which is giving me Scorpio. I'm sure it's meaning the same thing. But you know, that sting. And I guess it's just really saying to move on, despite it, the opposition. You keep doing you, being you. Let people have their opinions. Now you have change coming out here with Breath of the Cosmos. And my will, micromanaging the universe. Now, I like that this is 35 because this is another 8. Now, I think we're going to be able to attain some of that balance in regards to that change, that metamorphosis, in regards to how we manage the craziness in regards to our fire our feelings as it relates to other people's opinions beliefs judgment yeah. and just know that you're going to transform into this beautiful butterfly despite the opposition okay boo and I'm just looking at all that fire that you're going to be using to transform into that butterfly and that retribution, that revenge is your success, your change, your perception in regards to their projection. That was bars. Yeah. Right here at the bottom of the deck is confidence. Look at all that fire. You managing it. Look at you. And they're shocked by it. That's the envy and jealousy. You're learning how to tame your fire. That's why I love spirit. Get me in my place. Check me. Slow me down. Get me together. I sure wish that would have been a number eight, though. <laughs> good, good. It's number seven. Close enough. All right. I'm going to pay attention to everything at the bottom of the deck, as I always do. Now, you have Earth here. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. With confidence. <laughs> and this is just giving me, though I walk through the um, valley of death, I will fear no evil. He's still pushing through. Look at him. Still 
still pushing through, and they just looking. Look how they just looking, y'all. In amazement and shock. Or is that no? Nah? It's like you contain the fire with balance. Look at that. See how, with that water that I was talking about, by staying grounded. Yeah, connecting with source, the divine. Yeah. That breath of the cosmos. Look at it, how it's swirling down inside of you. It's like this is giving me the same thing right here. The butterfly. You see it? Don't that look like the same thing right there? It's not, this is like this, this rat right around here. Oh, spirit. And that's the breath that's coming down inside of you. Changing you. Getting you to pay attention to the craziness. And understand, you got to go through it to, to see it, right? That's why they had, that's why those little things come up on you. Comments and stuff like that. Get you pay attention to something. Get you to work on yourself. Right? So you can come into balance. Now, maybe I may be looking at that little comments, those little comments as a, a teachable moments at this time. Even though I said I was going to use them. To, yeah. <laughs> maybe they are a little help for me at this time. Helping me to tap into something. You know what I'm saying? All right, tell us about shine and balance. This is peeking out. And that is cosmic power. Now this is really giving me duality. Just because the sun and the moon balance again. Tapping into your cosmic power with this earth pulsing. Okay. Working on that shadow side. Bringing it into balance, darling. Bringing it into balance. Yep. Because Spirit said that you are worthy. Something is definitely coming into balance because you got so much balance on the board already. And it's just something about this right here that I'm just loving. The way it looks. I don't know. Now I have always been fascinated by nature, you know. The trees, the greenery of it all. I don't know. I just see the world so differently. You know, really different. It's something different, y'all. Now you got mass with the go wild. Huh. Huh. 
take off the mask, tap into your natural state. And I just like the way it kind of gives you this tribal theme going on here. As she is a lion under that mask. She's sharp, though. Now, I'm loving that. Is it all three cards on the split, y'all. Now you got live out loud here on find balance. It's just giving me more of go wild. It's so vibrant and beautiful. And all that red, that creativity, that dance, that laughter. Mm -hmm. Now somebody could be truly an artist. And what is that? You might like Art Deco. I like Art Deco. Got some type of miracle coming. And a manifestation. They together. Now that miracle may just be a breaking. A breakthrough. I want to say. Some type of realization. Something that's going to uh, enhance that growth. Because that's what we're talking about. And I'm just looking at the way those cups are filling over. Hmm. A lot of growth. And that's what we want to do. Right? Actually putting that smoke out with the rain. That's what we was talking about. And all those little things right there is portals of information manifestations opportunities number nine some type of wish fulfillment could be nine and my yacht they made me flip back on her again with giving and receiving you know I don't think the divine spirit source wants us to be perfect but just to recognize recognize those areas where we need to reflect and do that do that little work and have confidence and patience in ourselves as we work through this stuff you know, it took a long time to get here, boo. It's going to take a long time to unravel. You know? I think if you recognize it, you can conquer it, right? Ain't that the deal? You know what I want to do first? Just to spice it up a little bit. Let's get one advice card for each. What is the cosmic power? I don't know why these cards feel kind of light. There's a... I'm going to have to wait the next month to get them done. Somebody, uh, uh, somebody recommended me these cards that's going to help me to learn astrology. I'm really going to uh, put my best effort put into uh, really attaining more of that knowledge. Mm. 
Now, this is telling you to release the need to know all the answers. Now we know that this cosmic power is bringing in those intuitions, as well as some type of balance too, with this number two here. And again, this is going back to what I'm talking about, you know. Giving yourself that grace, that patience. None of us have it all together. I don't care what they say. <laughs> but I'm liking this little theme here that's going together. It kind of the same, the color. But I get excited when they do that. Yeah. That's in regards to, you know, using your little gifts. I'm sure you'll find balance. It'll come easy. Now you have go wild with bass. It looks like you're going to free yourself from people pleasing and wearing masks and unla unleashing that inner child. And it says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Yeah. Makes so much sense, no? What is finding balance and living out loud? Peace. <laughs> you see how I flew over there? <laughs> and it says I am being of I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Yes, spirit. Yeah. With acceptance. And I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. And we ain't gonna never be able to change people's opinions, judgments, and things of that nature. Right? We have to keep moving on despite it all. Keep doing what you're doing, boo. Got a lot of balance, peace, freedom. Things happening for you. All this open road, land, the cover. I gotta pull my chair up, y'all. I'm too sh low. I can't shuffle the cars correctly. <laughs> I stopped on moving to smooth the waters. Getting that mind right. Now you got the Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups. And cosmic power shining. That off pulse. That earth pulsing. Now this is change in the breath of the cosmos with this metamorphosis. Releasing mental blockages. Doing that reflection, like I said, in regards to the past. Now because this one came first, the eight of swords to this one. I just see you growing. You know, I like to see this as that younger child, younger self maturing. You know, baby steps, boo. However, you took the steps to do it. You see? Taking the steps. Hey. 
Look at you growing up. Peace and serenity. Breathing it out. <laughs> it was all a test. <laughs> Find the balance flew right over here with peace and living out loud. Taking off the mask, freeing yourself from a boo. Going wild. That's a lot of self love. Moving on. I just heard a lot of difficult conversations getting vulnerable telling it how your T.I. is everything on the line must go it came right back that's what I heard didn't I say that a lot of conversations Communication. Relationships. Now, this is new ones. Living out loud. This is all about your creativity, finding that balance with relationships, that communication. Look, this is what it took. Self-love to bring in that positive communication to self first so that you can attract that Outward, inward, then outward. New beginnings. Let them run. Or let those bracing thoughts go. That's a lot, spirit. Thank you. Let it go, boo. It's a waste of time. Hold it on. Yeah. Holding on is the illusion. It's time for you to utilize this power for your good. There you go. The cosmic power over there telling you I release the need to know all the answers. That could be that too. And that could be having to do with your creativity and finding that whole complete balance. Do we ever really be completely balanced? Do we sometimes get off kilter and have to find that balance? I mean, if we stayed level, what would there be to learn, right? Yeah. So expect the unexpected. Expect you. Expect that you are sometimes be off kilter, but learn the experience from the lesson. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. See things from a higher perspective. Now, I did do a reading about that. That was pretty good, too. I pretty like that. I like it. Just got to remember to live it, right? 
coming right back out here on this Eight of Swords. Told you we was growing up. Now something is about to make you happy. I even heard I heard it before I even pulled the cards back. Some type of judgment. I think spirit see the growth. Self reflection. Yeah, look at that. Some good news. In regards to a big offer. Could be something big. Yeah. Lining right up over here on retribution. And the cosmic heart. Yeah. Now I do see. We did see this miracles, manifestations, giving and receiving here, and living out loud. That all of us showed up in one little swoop. You got two aces down here, and understand when anytime you see the aces, that is spirit bringing that in due to your connection, your devotion, your healing. They got the queen right there. Look. Ooh. Is that balance or is that a relationship? What do you want it to be? Now I see healing from past trauma. You know? Shine, cosmic power. I do see some type of relationship in this. I see you releasing, you know, the need to know all the answers in regards to past mishaps, whatever that may be. I see a lot of healing. Yeah, getting mental clarity. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of maturity. Yeah, judgment. Look at all that. Eh, you got all the tan showing up here. Yeah, hey, you're moving away. Now, the devil and the ten of wands. I see you moving away from toxic situations. But some type of wish fulfillment. All these tens showing up. Six of wands. A lot of new beginnings. A lot of opportunities. And this keep the stay at the bottom of the deck. Now you got the Ace of Swords on the Ace of um, Cups. And this is right after giving and receiving. This is your hard work paying off. Man. Don't I feel a whole lot better? <laughs> Did I pass the test? <laughs> <laughs> Freedom going oh, wild, wow. taking off the mask. Look at that. This is, I want to show you how this showed up. But this is the um, sun card that's all about your budget. This is how it's in my hand. Let go, get your mind right, boo. Got the sword right here. I did three readings back to back. I think a uh, spirit is like, okay, Shelly. You got the two. Now this is on communication. 
Now, I do look like somebody's going to get clear on some type of communication. Now, that could be the communication that you're telling yourself in regards to this balance that you seek, this peace, living out loud, your creativity. Could be a relationship. Look like you're going to make a choice, boo. Now, you could be saying two, two, two. Now I see 888 eight, eight as well, because we have the eight of wands here with the eight and the eight. You can also be seeing one, 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 because we got three aces down here. Now you got five of wands that did not want to go back in the deck. I think you're going to be finding balance within that, though. Now this could be competition in this sense. You beating out the competition because this is at the bottom of the deck. Being proud of yourself. We did see something about that in the last, in that confidence. You know, this does give me that crab in the barrel mentality as well. You know, trying to pull you down. But you still reaching. And you're going to make it. Now you got five, five right here. Which is giving me 10. 10s is hot too. A lot of new beginnings as this little 10 peek out over here with my yacht. There you go. Beating out the competition. I just got to be my favorite card in the deck because I just love the way she's looking like uh, ta -da, uh, uh, look yeah. you got it boo Now, this didn't want to go back in the deck. And this is on the King of Cups with that retribution, that cosmic heart, that devotion, making your life a living canvas. Now, what's under there? Ooh. A new leap of faith. Now, I just think that this is this past turning that situation into something that you can grow from and learn from. New perspective. It ain't even got to be nobody. Retribution, though. Mm -hmm. Making your life a living canvas. Now you got the king and the um, king of cups and the king of pentacles together, which is a good combination in my opinion. Got your finances and your emotions right. <laughs> Tapped into your intuition versus your mental. I'm liking that because this thing. This takes imagination. Devil Fate here on the family card. However, that's right there on that cosmic power, the moon, the Leo, which is the ego. Working through that. Not needing to know all the answers. That's your past. Retribution against that dude or that energy. But this is it. You're moving and you're grooving, stepping into your power, that entrepreneur, that leader. 
that authority over your inner world. Now you could be moving on from rulers, jobs, and making your life a living, a moving canvas. How's that? Yeah, making your life a moving prayer. I stopped on Ace of Pentacles. Wouldn't it be nice if it come out? You got the queen. Now we got the king and the queen right here. Yeah, you tapped in. Because it's right next to the devil. That's that duality. With the ace of swords and the ace of cups. Now, a couple of offers coming your way. That look like three. Look like you're going to have three choices, boo. Couple, we did see, yeah, they got a choice card right there. You the high priestess, you know what to choose. <laughs> now this, uh, y'all say I ain't even shuffle the card, so I don't even know how they got there like that. I don't know. Now, this is taking some type of action on this two of cups and this eight of wands. Now, that do look like something creative or a romantic offer. Living out loud. It could be something fun. Whatever it is, it is lining up with balance and peace and living out loud. Could just be your energy, boo. Don't got to be nobody. All right. Have, this dude keeps showing up. They still together. Now, you may be a little guarded. However, I do see this as that retribution. Now, Dad, look at that dude. I'd rather wait on him. <laughs> I'll wait on him. <laughs> All right. Now, let's... Can we get the ace? That's okay, Dad. I like that. This is... This is... That's just... That's the ace, in my opinion. The four of wands in the new beginning, right here on this. Whatever this was, it is this now. I was wondering what that was, but I think that's just strategy. Peeping game, being hit, some type of miracle. Yeah, they got your king right there. Look like he coming in with some type of offer. Death and the rebirth. I don't see that's nothing bad. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Nothing bad. It's all about perception, right? You see it as negative, maybe it is. Right? We're bringing in good things. Not afraid. You're going to learn how to handle some of this stuff around here. I guess I'm going to be your example. <laughs> You be cutting up in, in the comment section. Now let me see. <laughs> oh god! All right, let's see what's coming out. Signs of the time. Oh, I looked at the clock. It said fifty-five minutes and five seconds. 
Now, of course, it ain't gonna be like that when I finish. It's gonna be that went over a little bit, but that's what it said. 55 minutes and 5 seconds. Now, you can definitely be saying 5, 5, 5. I did say that, didn't I? Right down here. personal power right over here on this confidence and these miracles and earth now you got protection with this evil eye as well as stability and being anchored and you got clouds and distractions however it is the number 11 so again, I think you're going to peep that. And it's right over here on this devil dude in the past, in the family card. And we always know it's going to come up. Now, you could be saying one, one, one. I think you're protected from that. Because you got the eye, right? The third eye. The intuition. One, one, one. All right, guys. Now, that is your message. You can look up all those angel numbers. See what they mean for you. 10, 10, 1, 1, 1. 8, 8, 8. And 5, 5, 5. All right. And I will see you on the next one. Hit the like button.